Hey everyone, and this time in this video I'd like to talk about how to sync the Google Calendar with your current Apple Calendar on your Mac, so let's just get into it. So the first step is to open up the Calendar app on your Mac. And then in the upper left corner next to the Apple logo there is the calendar title or a text which you can click on and it gives you multiple options. So it gives you about preferences accounts. Well, you cannot really go ahead and click on the accounts there, but make sure to first click on the preferences and then once this option pops up or once it gets loaded, then click on the accounts there. So uh, this is where you need to click. Now, in order to add a new Google account with the calendar, click on the plus icon at the bottom of the list there. So you're going to click on the plus and choose Google as the calendar provider. Once you click there, just follow all of the steps. That means that you have to put in your uh, Gmail account, you have to sign in with your password, and perhaps if you have even two-factor uh, authentication, you will probably need to turn it on or, or somehow enable it. It depends on your current account and how it works for you. But this is how you generally add the Gmail Google Calendar to your Mac. And once it's there, then it's just going to get synced. Like I said, you couldn't click on the accounts right there under preferences because that would allow you to add a Google account, uh, including the mail and other things. So we just only want to focus on the calendar. So uh, that would create and import all other things, including mail messages and stuff like that. While this is good, as some uh, calendar features will, will still not work from Google on the Apple. If you use it on your Mac in the Apple Calendar app, you cannot expect all Google Calendar features to work there, naturally. And one of the features is creating, for example, new sections or new calendars within Google account that is not going to be possible. So this is only acceptable or accessible, I should say, in the uh, Google account section if you log in with your uh, Google Calendar and stuff. And if you would really want to, then there is like a written text with instructions on how you can do it from Google side. But I definitely think that the video is a lot better than just some uh, written instructions. But if you want that, I'm going to link that down below in the description. Like they're going to say all of the possible things like how to even sync. Uh, other calendars from Google and I'm trying trying to cover uh, the Apple side of things because obviously Apple Fox but yes you can also go ahead and use um, other Google features there and I'm gonna link uh, the page where Google describes what's going on and how you can use it in uh, the description. So now I just need to say that uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that the video actually helped you with the problem and if it did, you can leave a thumbs up. This does help the channel in return. So if you want to do something back, definitely do that. You can also leave a comment because it does also uh, make me read them and I can probably reply to you as well because I try to reply to most of them. So definitely do something and you can also subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. This time, this week, I'm only covering Mac tutorials as it seems. And yeah, all of the videos are short and I try to make them uh, to the point uh, as, be as best as I can. So uh, if you enjoyed it or if you appreciate it, make sure to leave a thumbs up or comment and subscribe. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Th uh, see you guys later in the future.